Imagine turning on your computer, and instead of being greeted by the familiar look of Windows 11 or the polished minimalism of Mac OS, you're welcomed by something that feels fresher, smoother, more alive, and honestly more exciting than both combined. This is the reality of modern Linux in 2026. Linux is no longer just about freedom, performance, or privacy. Today it is also about breathtaking design, fluid animations, intelligent layouts, and an overall user experience that often makes proprietary operating systems feel outdated and restrictive. In this video, we're diving deep into four Linux distributions that don't just compete with Windows 11 and Mac OS in terms of looks, but genuinely surpass them when everything is taken together, from visual polish to customization freedom, performance, and how good they feel to use every single day. Let's start by talking about why Linux has reached this point. For years, Linux was criticized for looking rough, inconsistent, or too technical. That era is long gone. Desktop environments like KDE Plasma, GNOME, Pantheon, and others have matured to a level where attention to detail rivals, and sometimes exceeds, what Microsoft and Apple deliver. Combine that with powerful hardware acceleration, Wayland improvements, modern fonts, adaptive themes, and community-driven innovation, and you get operating systems that feel handcrafted rather than corporate. With that in mind, let's explore the first Linux distro that truly looks better than Windows 11 and Mac OS combined. The first distro on this list is KDE Neon, at first glance, KDE Neon feels like the future of desktop computing. Built by the KDE team themselves, this distro showcases KDE Plasma in its purest and most advanced form. The desktop is clean, modern, and incredibly sharp. Animations are smooth and fast, with window transitions that feel more fluid than Windows 11 and more customizable than Mac OS. Transparency effects Blur, shadows, and rounded corners are all tastefully applied, giving the desktop a premium glass-like appearance that feels both futuristic and elegant. What really sets KDE Neon apart visually is how deeply customizable it is without ever feeling messy. You can transform the desktop to look minimal like Mac OS, structured like Windows, or entirely unique. The panel can float, dock, or stay traditional. Widgets blend naturally into the desktop, and system-wide themes apply consistently across applications. Unlike Windows 11, where visual inconsistencies still pop up in system dialogues, or Mac OS, where customization is extremely limited, KDE Neon gives you complete visual control while maintaining cohesion. The application launcher in KDE Neon is another highlight. It's fast, elegant, and visually pleasing, offering multiple styles depending on your preference. The System Settings app is beautifully designed, logically organized, and far more transparent than the layered settings chaos of Windows 11. Even simple tasks like adjusting display scaling, changing fonts, or modifying animations feel intuitive and satisfying. When you combine this with KDE's crisp font rendering and excellent high DPI support, KDE Neon often looks better on modern high-resolution displays than Mac OS itself. Performance also plays a huge role in how good an operating system looks. KDE Neon is surprisingly lightweight for how visually rich it is. On the same hardware, it often feels faster and more responsive than Windows 11, especially on older or mid-range systems. That responsiveness enhances the visual experience because smoothness is as important as design. When everything reacts instantly, the system feels premium, and KDE Neon delivers that consistently. Now let's move on to the second distro, which takes a very different design philosophy, but still ends up looking incredible. That distro is Elementary OS. Elementary OS has always been known for its beauty, but in recent versions, it has reached a level of refinement that genuinely challenges Mac OS. The Pantheon desktop environment is built with an obsessive focus on consistency, spacing, typography, and animation timing. Every element feels intentional. Nothing looks accidental or unfinished. From the moment you boot into elementary OS, you're greeted by a calm, elegant desktop that feels welcoming and distraction-free. The dock at the bottom is smooth and refined, resembling Mac OS but with subtle improvements. Animations are gentle and natural, never flashy, never abrupt. Windows glide instead of snapping harshly, menus fade in gracefully, and notifications feel unobtrusive yet clear. One of the strongest visual advantages of elementary OS over both Windows 11 and Mac OS is consistency. Every system app follows the same design language. Icons, buttons, menus, and dialogues all feel like they belong to the same universe. 
Windows 11 still struggles with legacy elements from older versions, and Mac OS sometimes mixes old UI concepts with newer ones. Elementary OS avoids this problem entirely. The result is a desktop that feels cohesive from corner to corner. Dark mode in elementary OS deserves special mention. Instead of simply inverting colors, it carefully adjusts contrast, shadows, and accent colors to maintain readability and comfort. Combined with accent color support, you can fine-tune the look of your system to match your mood without breaking visual harmony. Fonts are beautifully rendered, spacing feels just right, and the overall aesthetic is soothing, especially for long working sessions. Another reason elementary OS looks better than Windows 11 and Mac OS combined is how little visual noise it has. There are no ads, no unnecessary pop-ups, no forced integrations. The desktop feels like a calm workspace rather than a billboard. This minimalist approach enhances beauty because it lets the design breathe. For creators, writers, developers, or anyone who values focus, elementary OS feels like a luxury environment built purely for productivity and elegance. Now let's talk about the third distro, which is bold, modern, and unapologetically different. This one is Fedora Workstation. Fedora may not market itself as a beautiful distro, but visually, it is one of the most impressive Linux experiences available today. Fedora Workstation uses GNOME as its default desktop environment, and the latest versions of GNOME are visually stunning. GNOME on Fedora feels modern in a way that Windows 11 tries to be but doesn't quite achieve. The interface is clean, spacious, and optimized for both keyboard and touchpad workflows. The overview mode, where all your windows and virtual desktops are displayed, feels fluid and futuristic. Animations are fast, smooth, and consistent, often outperforming macOS on the same hardware. What makes Fedora stand out visually is how cutting-edge it is. Fedora is usually among the first distros to adopt new GNOME features, Wayland improvements, and graphical enhancements. This means you're often experiencing the most refined version of Linux visuals available. Fractional scaling works better, multi-monitor setups feel smoother, and touchpad gestures are incredibly natural. The GNOME design philosophy emphasizes simplicity, but not at the cost of beauty. Large icons, clean typography, and smart spacing make the interface feel breathable and modern. Unlike Windows 11, which sometimes feels cluttered with extra panels and notifications, Fedora's GNOME environment keeps distractions to a minimum. Compared to Mac OS, GNOME feels more flexible and faster, especially when switching between tasks or managing multiple workspaces. Fedora's attention to detail extends to its default theme, Adveta. In recent updates, Adveta has evolved into a truly elegant theme with subtle gradients, refined shadows, and improved contrast. Dark mode looks excellent, light mode feels crisp, and the overall aesthetic adapts beautifully to different lighting conditions. When paired with modern GTK applications, Fedora Workstation can look absolutely stunning, especially on high-resolution displays. Finally, let's move on to the fourth distro, which is often overlooked but visually exceptional when configured as intended. This distro is Zorin OS. Zorin OS is designed to impress visually right out of the box, and it succeeds brilliantly. From the first boot, Zorin OS feels polished, premium, and ready for mainstream users. Zorin OS combines familiarity with beauty. It offers layouts inspired by Windows and Mac OS, but enhances them with smoother animations, better spacing, and a more unified design language. The Zorin Appearance tool allows users to switch layouts, themes, and accent colors with just a few clicks, making it one of the most visually flexible distros available without requiring deep technical knowledge. What really makes Zorin OSIS stand out is how refined everything feels. Icons are crisp and modern, window borders are subtle, and animations are smooth without being distracting. The desktop feels responsive and fluid, often running better than Windows 11 on the same hardware. This performance boost directly enhances the visual experience because nothing stutters or lags. Zorin OS also excels in theming. Its default theme strikes a perfect balance between elegance and practicality. It looks professional enough for work and stylish enough for personal use. Dark mode is especially impressive, with deep blacks, soft highlights, and excellent readability. Compared to Mac OS, Zorin OS feels more customizable and less locked down. Compared to Windows 11, it feels more consistent and less cluttered. Another visual advantage of Zorin OS is its approach to user experience. Everything is where you expect it to be, but it looks better. 
the system tray, settings menu, and app launcher all feel thoughtfully designed. There's no visual chaos, no unnecessary elements competing for attention. The result is a desktop that feels calm, confident, and premium. When you step back and look at these four distros together, a clear picture emerges. Camion delivers futuristic beauty and unlimited customization. Elementary OS offers refined minimalism and unmatched consistency. Fedora Workstation brings cutting-edge modern design and fluid workflows. Zoran OS provides polished elegance with user-friendly flexibility. Each of them, in its own way, looks better than Windows 11 and Mac OS combined because they don't just focus on one aspect of design. They combine aesthetics, performance, freedom, and user control into a single experience. Windows 11 looks good in screenshots, but its inconsistencies and performance issues often break the illusion. Mac OS is elegant, but it's restrictive and slow to evolve visually. Linux, on the other hand, is driven by passionate communities and designers who care deeply about how their systems look and feel. That passion shows in every animation, every theme, and every carefully crafted interface. In 2026, choosing Linux is no longer a compromise in design. In many cases, it's an upgrade. These four distros prove that open source software can be not only powerful and secure, but also genuinely beautiful. If you've ever felt bored limited or frustrated by Windows 11 or Mac OS, trying one of these Linux distributions might completely change how you see desktop computing.